this um, cube uh, is, is given chess. And uh, that's, that's the basic idea. So, can you speak this um, pattern to a cube? Um, <clears throat> now, you can get to the list here. Oh, yeah. uh, there, um, there are four chess sets that I'm, I'm going to show you. And um, this one is this one here. Um, Um, so, uh, in 2011, I was in the Museum of Montmartre in New York, and I saw this chess set, um, and I was very impressed that it was a chess set that backed into uh, a block of, a block anyway, almost a cube. And then, uh, when I left uh, the museum, I was thinking, why didn't this guy make this into a cube? It seemed obvious to me. And, uh, um, Anyway, um, and part of the reason is, is because uh, this, this, is a, this is the king and this is the queen and they join up and they, they form this long piece and obviously that, that can't go into a cube too long. Um, whoops. Very good. And this, this is the, the queen and the king um, and, uh, uh, of this set. And so this, this is uh, uh, my very first um, cube chess. Uh, is the whole purpose of this to be able to pack them up and make it small? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, um, this is the king and the queen, and now they join by an L shape, rather than long ways, um, and so that makes it work. Uh, otherwise, the chess set is very similar to, to the Lanier chess set, which was invented in 1966 by Graham Lanier. Um, uh, and this is the current set. Uh, which Jim Lloyd is it modeled on. Yeah. Uh, and, and this is the, the chess set laid out. Um, and so, yes, this, this, and this is the cubic version, which is this one right here. And you can, yeah. Uh, and there's Jim will tell you all about this set uh, in his talk and about making it, and so on. Um, this is the Lanyard uh, uh, chess set, and basically each piece is a column of cubes with a piece on top. And so to make a rook, you make a column of cubes, and then you, you, you divide this cube into a half, and then that's one half, and that's one half, and this is one half. And uh, these two here, um, as I said, uh, and that's the, the shape that, um, because they join um, head on head, they doesn't, doesn't make, can't make a cube. Um, this is the first one that I made. <coughs> and uh, um, this, this, we'll see the details of how this works in a minute. But that, 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 that's the, uh, um, the, the new design. Um, yeah. And this, this one is current, current design. And you can see that the, the column of cubes is now the same all the way across, apart from the pawn. And then the, the one thing that determines the kind of piece is, is more. Uh, clear. Um, what? Um, 
Um, now, if you get this piece and rotate it 90 degrees, then the linear set would make an L shape. Um, uh, if you, yes. And uh, this is a novel set. Um, if you get a cube and divide it into three, you can see um, that, that, that this piece would fit in, in there and it would, make, it would make an L shape like that. Um, this is how to pack the cube. Uh, it's, it's actually simple. This, this is an L shape and this is an L shape and there's two pawns and two pawns and that's layer one. And then another L shape, another L shape, two pawns, two pawns, and then you've got your um, half a cube, and then you do the other set, and then you get half a cube. Do you do plumbing repairs also? Absolutely. <laughs> is, is, that, is, is, that, is that packing arrangement unique? Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, unique in what way? Only made one. Is that the only way you can oh. put it back in the box? Um, the very last slide will answer that, yeah. and uh, you can do it many ways. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this text here says to get students to design and make their own versions of a, of a half, half a cube, they learn so much from their own attempt and seeing what their peer group has made. So, in designing uh, the chess set, um, I used ideas like that. Uh, so if you, if you who will ever make one of these, um, it's very good. Uh, these are all um, by volume, half a cube. Um, and only if this one and maybe a couple of these were actually working in a chess set, um, and so we got him. Uh, and this, this is the, the half cube that I use uh, to make the king and the queen. Um, it's, if you, you notice that the slice leaves it. If you slice the cube in half, it, to make a hexagon face, it goes to the midpoints of the edges. Um, and then that makes a um, uh, half cube. <coughs> the cool thing about this is that um, if you get two half cubes and put them together, um, they, ro they, they rotate around and uh, they get the X and the Y and the Z directions. Um, and so you can make robots, for instance, out of this thing. And uh, um, it's very flexible. Uh -huh. Yes. So how many ways can 30 chess pieces be arranged into a cube? Um, I have no idea. Um, I think it would be a large number, probably thousands. Um, and you could write a program to uh, yeah, uh, figure that out. Um, and then how uh, many chess pieces? Um, or rather, um, we've seen four designs here. Um, how many other, other designs that would make a cube? Again, that makes probably a very large number. Um, and then you have a sphere, the dodecahedron, you can put, you know, it's like the Rubik's Cube and the Rubik's Dodecahedron on the, on the table there. So, okay. Yes? The metal, what metal is it? Aluminum? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, just, I've made them chessets out of wood, paper, Metal, okay. plastic, now, 3D printed. Part of the whole challenge yeah. is to make a chess set that looks good, yeah. is easy to pack up, yeah. but when you packed it up, uh, yeah, I see you've got a box, you put it into a box or something, a bag or something, yeah. but immediately it just pops up at me is why not put uh, drill a little hole into each piece, mm -hmm. uh, or actually a bigger hole, yeah. and put a magnet in there, mm -hmm. and arrange the magnets 
Well, there's two ways I can think of doing this. Arrange the magnets so that when you put it together, it stays together. Yeah, as a cube. As yeah. a cube, yeah. or yeah. sphere, or whatever. Yeah. And also, um, because of <clears throat> north-south, you know, repelling and attracting, um, if, if you're going to be a traveling chess set and you might have a thin piece of sheet metal for your board, yeah. that, that the magnets, a uh, 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 second approach to using magnets, would be to hold chess pieces down so they're not disturbed easily. Yes, so the, uh, the sets that I made earlier on were mostly wood, and wood fitting magnets into wood yeah, would, would, would be all of them. Uh, uh, extra work in play. Um, it's only a good idea, and people have mentioned magnets for the, uh, for the set before, um, and uh, it's something I, I have not played with. So, but yes, it's, it, 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 yes, it's an idea. Uh, you mentioned uh, imitational previously. Yeah. Was there kind of a contest or something? That the... No, um, uh, it's, it's just that uh, the, they were samples of half cubes. Um, that uh, um, well, I was thinking, um, Lanier who made the chess set in 1966, um, why didn't, didn't he make a cube? Maybe he had never seen a half cube, uh, or how many ways you can get a half cube. And m most, and I think it's more that um, there was just more visibility, and more mathematics done to make the half cube and and all its properties. Yeah. Jim. Um, I'm not sure, I just know that I've got um, lots of prototypes at home and uh, I remember at the time um, I was just playing and I kept, it, it kind of incrementally came together. Um, so here's the metal board oh, wow. and, and it um, goes into a cube but you can see that inside there's the chest just board. What planet are you from? That opens out to us. Yes. So here, here's, here's a plastic, plastic board, um, and uh, it's transition so you can see it's just yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Very good. Um, yes. The wood, you know, chess players uh, take pride in their chess sets yes. and what have you. Uh, and I imagine there's an infinite variety of uh, designs and what have you. Uh, uh, do you use these to play very much at all? Or, or oh, um, <laughs> uh, I, I played the chess with my mum quite a lot, as if using, using this board. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the competition chess set is the Staunton chess set, and uh, um, that will never change. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, uh, when I bring this to chess clubs and stuff, they kind of look down on it, and they're amused for a few minutes, but they're like, yes, now we're going to go and play real chess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is certainly a fully functional chess set, um, and you can embellish it. Uh, for instance, the Rook, Jim, and uh, put castling on top, and it doesn't change the function. It, it improves both ways. You know, it still works as a piece of the cube, and then as a rook. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Are you selling them? Yes. Um, uh, these are nine ninety five. Um, and. I've got a whole range of uh, conference special 795. <laughs> um, and eventually, when this, 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 this is the very first production, and I got the boards um, less than an hour ago. So it, it, it's that fresh and new. Um, and in the future, hopefully, there'll be some other versions as well. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jeremy.